Welcome back. Now, he was 19 years old, healthy and energetic, a life Matt Sinclair will most likely never return to. Matt was involved in a terrible car crash that's left him with a serious brain injury. His recovery's been slow, yet his family has rarely left his side. And good mate, Port Adelaide young gun, Jared Redden, is also doing his bit to help, as Lucy Polkinghorne explains. had basketball training at Stansbury and he was driving me home and you know, one second we're just chatting and laughing and then next minute I'm yelling at him to try and get an answer out of him. It was the last conversation country boy Matt Sinclair would have. He was a joy, he always had a big smile on his face, um, he loved life. The 19-year-old from Edithburg was an adventurer, a joker and a friend to so many, including Port Adelaide's rising star, Jared Redden. I've known Matt, um, I guess, most of his life. He was always a bit of a daredevil. Um, he was a good motorbike rider, um, loved all his fishing, surfing, any hunting he'd love as well. Um, so he was just a fun lad to be around. He was also good mates with Jared's younger sister, Alicia. This particular evening on January 8th, Matt was driving her home along a dirt road he'd travelled many times before. It was dusk and the sun was setting. He had a dirty windscreen, so it just made it all the worse. And um, he actually just said to me, he said, I can hardly see the road. It's That sun is so bright. The next minute, they were in a paddock, having flipped and rolled at least 50 metres. His side got the worst. Um, so I think we, we flipped up into the air or something and it came down on his side. So the roof on his side was kind of caved in. It was just kind of bashed all over it. Miraculously, Alicia escaped with just a few cuts and bruises and called for help. But Matt wasn't so fortunate. And my phone went off and I didn't know the number. And I thought, oh, I'll just take it anyway, just in case. And it was Cheryl, um, Alicia's mum on the phone saying that Matt had an accident, um, it's pretty bad, you better come up. Mum Jenny arrived to find her son unconscious but breathing. I mean, this has never happened to me in my life, so um, a million things go through your head. <laughs> he was flown by helicopter to hospital in Yorktown. It was actually in the air on its way to somewhere else and was diverted on the night, thank goodness. So yeah, but if, if, if it had, had to come straight from the RA, I don't think that would have survived, actually. So, very fortunate. Yeah. And for the first three days, it was a matter of life or death. And they said that he probably shouldn't have survived day three, but he did, which was good. Um, but yeah, he had some very serious traumatic brain injury. Mm. After four months at the RAW, Matt was transferred to Hampstead for rehabilitation. It's been a long seven months, but he's made small but significant progress. I haven't heard him speak for seven months. He's doing a lot of um, eye tracking now, which is a great thing when you're brain injured. Um, he's communicating a small amount with me with blinking. His progress is really slow. Jenny is by her son's side every day, adjusting to a life she could never have planned for. It's been turned totally upside down. <laughs> we lived in the country beforehand. Um, I was just working casually. We'd just finished a big renovation on the house. Um, life was good. Life was beautiful. They've moved to Adelaide to be closer to Matt. And while the public health system has taken care of the financial cost, when he leaves Hampstead, they're on their own. The public health system has been fabulous to us and I can't knock that whatsoever. It's just when you leave it, that's when everything starts building up. Unfortunately, because the new no-fault third-party scheme didn't come into effect until July, Matt misses out on lifetime care. We thought it'd be a really good idea to um, try and help out their family. Having had his football season cut short due to injury, Jared is now focusing on doing all he can to help Matt and his family. The position I'm in um, with Port, we thought it was a really good opportunity to um, get some awareness out there, try and raise some money to help them along with his rehab. He's planning on riding over 220 kilometres from Adelaide to Edithburg to raise $20,000 for a quadricizer motorised therapy system. 
when people have brain injury, they get spasticity and tone in their, in their limbs because they're not moving, they can't move for themselves, unlike us. So this um, piece of equipment, it just keeps the blood flowing, keeps the muscles moving. This machine they'll keep at Hampstead for other patients to also benefit. While it's a long road ahead for Matt, he isn't travelling it alone. I'd like him to be talking, I'd like him to be moving a lot more. Just be part of life again would be lovely. Mm. Walking, if that'd be a miracle, <laughs> but it would be good. I've heard of other accidents um, when they've been out for 11 months and then just one day they wake up and they're almost perfectly normal again. And I just hope that for Matt. And if you'd like to help support Matt, head to our website for all the details. And Jared's actually in hospital with viral meningitis, so we wish him a speedy recovery. That was Lucy Polkinghorne with that report.